So to set up our conversation, when you think about the last two years, there, to me, two industries really come to mind. Uh, real estate and healthcare as forever changed as a result of a lot of the different primary and secondary impacts from the COVID-19 pandemic. I mean, real estate, you have everything from the remote work phenomenon and forced onboarding, um, and for a lot of obvious reasons, how healthcare has changed. So it's really exciting to talk to both of you uh, and your experiences leading your organizations and companies from both of those perspectives. So to open this whole thing up, uh, Bridget, this first question for, for you, what's it been like leading a real estate technology company, navigating COVID and this tumultuous real estate market? It has been a wild ride. I mean, when the pandemic hit, it seemed like the whole real estate market just ground to a halt and everyone was holding their breath just saying, you know, what's gonna happen next? Is anyone ever going to buy a house again? But within a couple of months, it completely changed. And it seemed like all of a sudden, everyone was thinking about moving. We saw now you know, about a third of the people who are looking to buy a home are looking in areas outside of where they live. They're looking to migrate. And that's a historic high in what we've seen. And I think that the pandemic opened up a whole new way of life, remote work, and just these new opportunities for people to explore other areas, and that has played back into real estate. So we've just been trying to keep up with all of these trends. And Ali, for you, in on the the healthcare side, I mean, with when when you're at Omada, you're looking at everything from supporting people experiencing chronic health. Now at, at Modern Health, it's everything related to to mental well being. All of those things incredibly challenging the last two years. What's it been like for you? Yeah, it's been a moment of extreme volatility and also growth with the volatility, you know, definitely looking around um, and seeing, you know, people uh, craving stability in a moment when things are very unstable. And that shows up in, in many different ways in terms of like product evolution, as well as leadership of your teams. Um, so yeah, it's definitely been, been a bit of chaos. Um, uh, but I, I would say, um, you know, in these times you really want to stick to what you know, but actually these are times when you actually, you know, don't want to waste a crisis, um, as one of my mentors would say. Um, and so you really needed to, you know, look around you, see what was going on and act fast. So I would say, you know, during this time, you know, already in the digital health space, it was highly competitive. Um, I come from the B2B2C healthcare tech space. Um, and so it was already super competitive, lots of players entering the market, lots of, you know, fighting for market share. Um, and as we entered into the pandemic, um, you know, we we're already on this trajectory of increased telehealth visits. Uh, all of a sudden that became the, almost the norm. Um, I think I read a stat somewhere, you know, like Medicare visits increased, like 60 Medicare visits uh, that were telehealth visits increased like 63 fold. Um, and mental health especially became not only a top priority for employers overnight, um, but it became a top priority for individuals and also what organizations wanted to start investing in. On the OMADA side, um, definitely saw, uh, you know, not only were, were it was OMADA already expanding the number of products that they were offering to remain competitive, uh, but and enter, they entered into uh, mental health as well at that time um, to meet that demand. And we saw the demand from some of the other products like you know, diabetes prevention uh, really shifting. Um, so that was in less demand. We now were uh, seeing more organizations looking for mental health care um, and wanting to invest their limited resources on those sorts of products. Um, so that caused the organization to really shift and make sure that we were getting that product out to market as quickly as possible. Um, on the modern health side, uh, that's really their origin story. Um, Modern was about 30 to 40 people at the beginning of the pandemic. They grew to uh, about 400 people um, in a matter of just, you know, a couple of years. Um, and that was ge definitely generated by this great change caused by uh, the pandemic where now people really wanted mental health services and wanted them online. Um, so it's been a really interesting journey to, to help pick up their, their growth story and help them scale through that time. 